What's up, guys? We're back at your Dragon Quest Stars mobile free-to-play game. Check it out. Download it. It's out now. It's about uh, about two to three weeks old. But a lot of people are getting to in-game content now. And so let's talk about how to grind EXP. What's the best way to do it? And what's the best way to level up your proficiencies? Because as you can see, you have three characters. One of them is your main character that you're going to be playing in multiplayer. You can adjust who that is by clicking on the presets button in the bottom left right there. So if you click on that, you can change your preset helper, who is the character. So currently we have our ranger as our helper. You generally want to put your uh, your strongest character as your helper. So, important, important, important. When you click on your characters, there's vocations. You want to level up these vocations. These are your jobs. This is going to give you more abilities. You can see vocation skills. And some of the stuff will carry over to other classes. So overall, you'll probably eventually want to level every class up to max level. They can go to 99. That gets very, very grindy to do. Uh, but let's help you out a little bit here. There's a couple ways to do this. So first off, when you get your first class so we're a battle master once it gets to level 50 you're going to get this exp bonus when you switch to a different class so we'll go back in there so vocation bonus we have the warrior's essence if you click on this it'll explain what it is what it does and you can see if we got warrior to level 60 we would get an additional hp of 10. If we got martial artists level 60, we get 10 more additional HP. And these can all stack together. So you can see you want to get your ability all the way up. This, the Disciple Badge, it gets you bonus EXP. 1.5. So you really want to get your special vocation up to level 50 before you change to a different one. Say you're not liking the class or you just want to level something up. And I will go into the globe. And this is the best location to actually just grind EXP. It is La Citadel des Lions, level 5. And you're going to do level 5. It's very, very easy to do. You can auto battle this, at least with my current setup. We definitely can auto battle this. So we'll jump in here. I'll talk about this as we're auto battling. The stamina recharges one every three minutes, so you're going to be using a decent amount of stamina, and you're going to be replenishing that stamina pretty quickly, because uh, we currently have around 41 or 42 stamina, so it takes about two hours for that to fully recharge, give or take some. So if you come back every two hours and then do this farming, it'll take a few minutes, and you can just auto-farm it. You have to have your phone on, obviously, to do this. So if you have more time, this is what you want to do. You can level up any class. It doesn't really matter what class you are. You're still going to get the same amount of EXP. In this battle, you can actually get really lucky and you can find metal slimes. So it does happen. Every so often you will find metal slimes as one of these normal monster fights and you'll get a ton of EXP. So at the end here, we get approximately around 600, 700 EXP. And when you do get the metal slimes, there's two of them that I've seen. And if you can kill both of those, you get around like 1300 EXP for seven stamina. And then you get all your multipliers. So you'll see here at the end, we get a ton of multipliers. You're also gaining friends points and you're also gaining um, your account level which is very important so some people are stuck at level 20 or level 21 we've currently got up to level 22 now as account level and that allows you to have more stamina which is going to be very important in the future when missions start costing like 50 and 60 stamina you're definitely going to have to level up your account so overall this is just a great grind spot it is a little bit of time um, especially if you don't have the like the premium service and you only do two times speed. So if you were just on three times speed right there, 
And you'll notice this is the base EXP 697. And then we get the beginner bonus because, you know, the game is just out and you get that 30% bonus. You also got extra EXP. And you can see our multipliers 3.9, 2.6, 2.6. So like just tons and tons of multipliers. So this guy got 1,800, 1,800. This one got 2,700. Tons of EXP just for seven stamina. So very, very easy, very quick. Um, doesn't take anything. You can just auto fight this. You don't have to think at all. You also get friends points. And so this is filling up. Um, I don't know if once you get it to max, since this game is still fairly new, if this will like level up your friend ability with him and you'll gain more friends points. But this also works to fill up your friends points down here, which then you can get some free gems, which is cool. So it's nice to do this. The other way to level up your vocations is a little bit trickier. You go over to the Altrades Temple. And you want to go to the Altrades Temple at least once a day because you get a free entry. So you can see zero stamina for this one over here. So you get to play this for free. And if you notice the top here, it says five times EXP. And it tells you Mage, Priest, and Sage. So these change daily. And there's different ones for each class. So this is all about Mage, Priest, and Sage. And they're going to get five times the XP. You can play it with normal characters and normal vocations. But you really want to change your characters over to any one of these classes. So we go to the hometown. Or just the building. Uh, and we're going to change our characters over to one of those classes. So we're not really trying to level up a mage here, so we're gonna go priest. We're gonna adjust. And once again, we're gonna go priest. We're gonna adjust. And so do we want, do we wanna do sage? Yes, I think we wanna do sage. All right, so we're gonna go like this. And you're slowly but surely going to be able to do the level 61. But as of now, we're only able to do the level 41 with this kind of class party setup. You do want to make sure that you take a strong friend. So we're going to take our level 75 friend right here. We're going to go, okay, okay, okay. And you'll notice we'll get a ton of stamina. But this mission normally costs 30 stamina to play. So if you are comfortable with only doing one mission every like two hours and you don't have that much time to play or, you know, AFK with the game auto fight, this is where you would be grinding your experience. It's not terrible. This is the second best way. And if you get enough of these classes to work correctly, so like here we're going to get priest bonus, we're going to get sage bonus, everyone's getting a bonus EXP on this one. So we're going to get a ton of EXP. We're going to go finish him off with a frizzle. Oh, uh-oh. That was bad. Very, very bad. So we're still going to kill him with the frizzle, I think. But here, at this point... Yeah, see, we, he killed him. At this point, we don't get anything, actually. So this was a complete waste. Uh, and this is uh, one of the risks of doing it with low-level characters and then having the speed bonus on. So you see, when you're dead, you get zero EXP. So, yeah. Thankfully, it didn't cost us anything. Uh, and this is why when you're doing these, I would not recommend to do three times speed and just like, yeah, the boss can kill you. Even with your gear leveled up and everything, the boss can still kill you. As you can see, he just wiped the team because we didn't do it properly. So we'll head out. And he, there's other ones. So today we have the Pirate Sanctum. Monster Master. So this one's Sailor, Ranger, and Monster Master. So we go. we'll try this one more time and we'll... <laughs> 
hopefully, knock on wood, not die this time. So I probably should have resurrected one of my characters so they could get some experience points. And this is also what I get for, you know, not taking it serious. Like, the boss is strong. The boss can kill you. And you really want to burst the boss down before he can do his crazy wombo combo that he did to kill us. All right, we're going to take our friend once again. Also, when you're doing this with a different vocation, your your HP is quite low. You can see our uh, hollow is 132. It's a small amount. So here we would uh, definitely take off the triple speed and, and do it kind of normally because that was the downfall right there. The thing just went too quick. And we, uh, we clicked our buttons and yeah, we died. So we touched upon the other video of how you want to approach this is you want to like defend and your auto attacks can just can do damage. Because again, the boss can kill you. He can dish out a ton of punishment. And that's, that's one of the things I really like about this game, is that, like, if you're sloppy, you will die. So we're going to make sure that we don't die this time. Looks like we can probably throw our big slime there. And again, this is where you kind of learn the boss's attack patterns, learn about the thresholds. So pretty much any time he goes to a new HP bar, he's going to do out a special counterattack ability type thing. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to burst him down from yellow to red, because red means he's almost dead. So we're going to go get ready for our attacks. And you also have to be careful that your attacks aren't going to be as strong as you originally think they will be, because your stats are lower as well. So you can see right now he's trying to scorch us and use this ability, but we're chaining together our attacks and hopefully going to kill him before he does his scorch and he also unleashed his anger so his attack power rose so if he were able to get that attack off he would deal a ton of damage and most likely wipe our team which is what happened last time this time successfully yeah, yeah, yeah. so we're going to get a lot of experience points and you'll check it out here So you can see 1,818 is the base value. And then with all the bonuses, it goes up to 17,000 experience points, almost 18,000 points. So you will level up, you know, alt classes very, very easily this way. And this is why you want to make sure that you do it at least once a day for your free stamina ones. Again, if you don't have that much time and you want to play like one fight every two hours and you want to raise up specific classes, this is a, a very, very good way to do this. I 
I think if you level up all three characters that are the correct classes, you actually gain more EXP this way. And of course, fighting the higher level boss, the level 60 and the level 80 will get you more EXP, but it comes with higher risk. The bosses, of course, are stronger and the bosses will kill you a lot more. So you don't want to die. If you die, you waste, you know, 30 stamina, 35 stamina that you used or your free entry. It just, it sucks. But you see just the base value. So the base value is 1800. The base value for the other one is seven, is nearly 700. And it only costs 7 stamina. So this is going to a 30 stamina mission. But if you are the correct class, you get a 5 times bonus. So that factors in. Comes out to about 9,000 experience points after the 5 times bonus. But again, you have to be the correct class. That would be more EXP. But you have to be the specific classes to get those. That comes out to about 300 EXP per stamina. Whereas if you're doing the other one, it comes out to approximately 100 EXP per stamina. And that's on the base value. Well, that's on the base value with the bonus of five times here. And then so the I guess the other one would be close to one stamina for 200 or so EXP because you're getting a two times multiplier over there right now. All the story quests have a two times multiplier currently going on. So we should factor that in as well. So the story adventure is approximately one stamina equals 200 EXP for all classes, vocations. It doesn't matter. Very, very simple, very easy. And then this one, the level uh, 40 all Trades Temple is approximately 300 stamina per one for specific classes. And of course, it gets better as you go higher up. But again, be careful. They will kill you. Right now, I'm currently only able to kill level 60 All Trades Temple on a very few of these bosses because they do have different attack patterns and different abilities. And some of them I've found are quite difficult <laughs> and definitely will wipe your team. They're just they're just harder than others. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I will talk to you guys later. If you have any helpful tips or advice you want to give, post it down in the comment section. Love to hear from you guys.